Okay, uh, so welcome back. And um, today we will be talking about uh, one new subject in physics, which is how to calculate the average velocity or average speed of a moving object. Uh, as you guys may know that the average speed equals to the total distance divided by the total time. Uh, but we need to practice on different ideas on how to apply this equation. Total distance divided by the total time. Uh, here I have uh, one example uh, that says that in a, a 2.0 uh, kilometer race, a red boat starts at uh, 4.0 meters per second for the first 1,500 meters, but slows down to 3.1 meters per second for the rest of the race. A green boat goes at a steady 3.6 meters per second for the first 1,200 meters and then 3.9 meters per second for the remainder. Which boat wins the race and by how much time? So in this problem, we have two boats. We have the red boat and we have the green boat. Now, both boats moved for a distance of uh, 2,000 meters because this is the uh, total distance of the race, which is two kilometers means 2,000 meters. But for the red boat, for the first 1,500 meters, it was moving at four meters per second and for the rest, which is 500 meters, the boat moved at 3.1 meters per second. Now, the green boat also moved a distance of 2,000 meters, but for the first 1,200 meters, it was moving at 3.6 meters per second. And then for the rest, which is 800 meters, it moved at 3.9 meters per second. Now, what do we need to know is which boat wins the race? And what does that mean is which boat will cover the 2,000 meters in a less amount of time? So here I can use my magic triangle that says that velocity equals to distance divided by the time. So if I want to find the time, I need to divide the distance by the velocity. So now I will look at the first part here. I have 1,500 meters that were covered in three, four, uh, that, were, that uh, the boat used to move at four meters per second. So what should be the time? Well, what you have to do is to divide the distance by the velocity. So that gives you 333.33 seconds. Now for the second part, for still for the um, uh, red boat, that would be 500 divided by 3.1, which is distance divided by velocity, and that gives us a, a 205.12 seconds. So what is the total time that was needed by the red boat? It would be T1 plus T2, which would be 536.29 seconds. Now we can do the same thing now with the uh, green boat. So again, I have for the first part, I have distance and I have velocity. Divide distance by velocity, it gives you uh, 375, that would be a T3. And for the last part, which is uh, for the green boat, again, divide the 800 by 3.9 meters per second. That gives you 161.2 seconds. So what is the total time for the green boat? That would be T3 plus T4, which is 538.45. Okay, so now look at the numbers. Now the red boat needed 536.29 seconds while the green boat needed 538.45 seconds. So which boat was faster? Of course, the red boat was faster. And so it means that the red boat won that race. And by how much? To know how much, just subtract this time from that time. It tells you uh, how much time the uh, red boat won the race.
Okay. Uh, now we can see different ideas here. And uh, for the second problem, it says that a person drives 200 kilometers to his grandfather's house. On the way to the grandfather's, he drives half of the time at 50.0 kilometers per hour and the half and the other half at 100 kilometers per hour. What is the total time of his trip? Okay, that is so cool. So the, uh, the, the total distance is 200 kilometers. From the beginning to the end, it's a 200 kilometers. Remember that this guy uh, drove this distance um, uh, twice, uh, forward, then backward. So on his way to his grandfather, he was driving at 50 kilometers per hour. But how much time did it take him? We don't know. So we'll just put the time here as T1. Now on his way back, he was moving faster. Maybe he was in a hurry or something. Then he was moving faster at 100 kilometers per hour. But how much did it take him uh, to uh, back to his home? Again, we don't know. So we'll just put the time T2. Now, I will go to my magic triangle that says velocity equal to distance over time. So if I want to know the distance, it would be velocity multiplied by the time. So, um, so the, the, the distance, which is d1, um, equals to um, 50 times t1. And the distance d2 equals to 100 times t2. So what will be the uh, total distance? It will be d1 plus d2. Now I know that um, I know that uh, d1 plus d2 um, must be um, it must be equals to 200. Okay, so I, so I guess there is, uh, I guess I, I just uh, misread something here. Um, this 200 kilometers is not uh, going back and forth. The 200 kilometers is the total distance from his home to his grandfather's home. So I'm not talking here about uh, the uh, person going back. Okay, so, so let me try to explain this uh, one more time. So, so here in his um, trip to his grandfather's house, so half, half, of, half of the time he was moving at um, uh, 50 kilometers per hour, and the other half he was moving at 100 kilometers per hour. Okay, so now I hope this is more clear. So this is only half of the time, and this is the other half of the time. So, so again, D1 equals to 50 times T1 and D2 equals to 100 times T2. So if I add D1 plus D2, that would be 200 kilometers because this is a total distance from his house to his grandfather's house. Okay, so D1 equals to 50 times T1 and D2 equals to 100 times T2, that should equal to 200. But remember the problem says that T1 and T2 are equal, and both of them are equal to half the time it took the guy to cover the whole trip. So T1 equals to T2 equals to T over 2. So I can just simply replace T1 by T over 2, and T2 also by T over 2. So now I have 50 times T over 2 plus 100 times T over 2 equals to 200. Now we can just cancel 2 with, 20, with 50, that gives us 25t, and 2 with 100 gives us 50t, it would be 75t equals to 200, so t equals to 200 over 75 hours. Now, if I want to convert this into minutes, all I have to do is to multiply by 60, and then it gives me uh, 160 minutes. Okay, so um, so I hope you guys got that. So so just to remove the confusion at the beginning of this problem. So so this guy moved half of the time at 50 kilometers per hour, and the other half at 100 kilometers per hour. He started from his house and he ended at his uh, grandfather's house. 
So now let's check the uh, next problem, number three. And it says that in a five kilometers race, one runner runs at a steady speed of 12 kilometers per hour and another runs at 15 kilometers per hour. How does the faster runner have to wait at the finish line to see the slower runner crosses? So both runners one and two ran a five kilometers, right? But one of them was faster than the other. Obviously, number two was moving at 15 kilometers per hour and number one was running at only 12 kilometers per hour. So it makes sense, of course, that number two will win the race, but we need to know how long he will wait to see the runner number one. So I will just apply the same rule on my magic triangle, velocity equals to distance over time. I need to find the time, which is distance divided by the velocity. So the distance is five kilometers divided by the velocity. And if you want to convert this into minutes, multiply by 60. So five over 12 hours times 60, that will be 25 minutes. And 5 over 15 uh, times 60, that gives you a 20 minutes. Okay, so you can see the runner number one, it took him 25 minutes to reach the finish line, but number two took him 20 minutes. Of course, this one will be faster by how much? By only five minutes. And uh, now the problem number four here, it says that a bus travels at 280 kilometers south along a straight path with an average speed of 80 kilometers per hour. The bus stops for 30 minutes, then it travels 210 kilometers north with an average speed of 75.0 kilometers per hour. What is the average speed for the total trip? You want to know what is the average speed here. So remember, the average speed is what? Is the total distance divided by the total time. So let's see. So at the beginning, the bus traveled at 280 kilometers per hour, and the speed was 80 kilometers per hour. So I need to find how much um, how much time was taken for uh, for the first part. So if I want to find the time in the first part, I will divide distance over velocity. So it gives me 3.5 hours. Then the bus stopped. So it stopped for how long? For 30 minutes, maybe to drink tea or um, uh, to rest and so on. So how much time was covered here? It is 30 minutes, which is how many hours? We know that one hour is 60 minutes. So 30 minutes means half an hour. So for the second part, T2, it's half an hour. So what about, what about the last part? So I have 210 kilometers and the bus was moving at 75 kilometers per hour. Now, now uh, here the total distance is 210 and the total time is uh, 75 kilometers per, uh, sorry, and the velocity is 75 kilometers per hour. So the time is 2.8 hours. So now I can find out what is the total time. The total time will be uh, 3.5 plus half, that is four, plus 2.8, that would be 6.8 hours. So this is the total time. But to find the average speed, I want to know what is the um, a total distance. So what's the total distance? So I have 280 kilometers plus zero, because the bus was not moving, plus 210, that would be 490 kilometers. Then divide the 490 by 6.8, you get the average speed of 72.05 kilometers per hour. Here we must be careful because uh, at the beginning we said that the bus is moving south, then it was moving north. So maybe some of you will say, oh, I have to put this as a negative distance and this is as a positive distance, then I need to subtract them. But remember, if you read the problem carefully, it, 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 it's asked you to, it asks you to find the average speed. And remember the speed, we do not need to 
include the direction. So what we have to do is to find the amount or the magnitude of the distance, uh, which is uh, 80 kilometers plus zero plus 210 kilometers without taking direction into into consideration. So this is the final answer, 72.05 kilometers per hour. So I hope this video uh, helped you uh, to understand how to calculate the average speed, especially if the person or the object is changing its speed um, uh, during the uh, from the beginning to the end of uh, of the trip uh, of the trip or during different parts of the trip. Okay, so thank you so much, and we'll see you in uh, next videos.